Ki Yong and Jin Ki Ju shared thoughts on their drama Come and Hug Me. See also, Come and Hug Me shares more photos of Jang Ki Yong and Jin Ki. JOO's emotional moments on June 20, the two actors appeared as guests on NBC FM 4U's Yang Yo Sub's Dreaming Radio, because their drama didn't care due to the 2018 FIFA World Cup. Soompi. Display. News. English.300x250, BTF Soompi. Soompi. Mobile. English.300x250, ATF, Come and Hug Me, tells the story of Che Da Jin, played by Jang Ki Yong, and Han Jae Yi, played by Jin Ki Ju, who are each other's first loves, but are torn apart because his father is the serial killer who murdered her parents. This was the first time the actors appeared on the radio show, and listeners wrote in saying that they missed seeing them on TV. Highlights Yang Yo Sub, the DJ, said, We spoke earlier, but Jin Ki Ju said this is her first time on radio and it's Jang Ki Yong's second time. I've been a DJ for two months. I'm nervous and excited to see what kinds of stories will come out. I sang the OST for Come and Hug Me, and through that, I was able to meet them. Jang Ki Yong began, I'm so nervous right now. I can't breathe. Jin Ki Ju also seemed nervous and wiped the sweat on her hands. The actor said, I met Jin Ki Ju for the first time during the costume fitting. It was early, so my eyes were swollen. Jin Ki Ju added, I could feel that Jang Ki Yong was next to me, but we didn't look at each other. Yang Yo Sub said, When I saw the two of you in real life, I was taken aback by your model charisma. I'm short, but the two of you are really tall. I knew Jang Ki Yong was tall, but Jin Ki Ju is taller than I expected. Jin Ki Ju replied, I'm 170 centimeters, approximately 5 feet 6 inches, tall. Yang Yo Sub pointed out, during the commercial break, you two looked close. Jang Ki Yong commented, I'm usually shy around new people, but she has a lot of energy. These days, we joke around a lot on set. Jin Ki Ju added, I'm not sure if Jang Ki Yong gets shy around people. I've never noticed it. When asked about the atmosphere on set, Jang Ki Yong answered, It can seem like our drama is a thriller, but it's closer to romance. The subject matter is dark and stiff, so you could cry because it's scary, but the atmosphere on set is really good. We're crying, but it's bright. On her thoughts before the premiere of the drama, Jin Ki Ju said, I couldn't believe it. The story turned over to the adults in the third and fourth episodes, so I thought, how will I watch the broadcast? I watched the first episode with my family and thankfully, they enjoyed it, so I was grateful. Jang Ki Yong stated, there was some pressure because it's my first lead drama, but I wanted to brazenly do a good job. The actor continued, instead of satisfaction, a large part of me wanted to try my best at what I was in charge of. It's important to do a good job, but I worried if I could betray the emotions and become that character as much as possible. He added, I lived in Olsen until I was 20 years old and came to Seoul to go to college. After speaking in the Seoul dialect for seven years, there are times when I can't remember Satori dialect. It was my first time using Satori while acting in a drama. It's a bit awkward in the beginning and wasn't easy. He also spoke about actor H.E.O. Jun Ho, who appears as his father on screen. I couldn't approach him in case I would be bothering him while he was preparing, said Jang Ki Yong. So, I'm not able to approach him while filming the drama, but I think that I can naturally get closer to him after the drama ends. Jin Ki Ju also spoke about the difference between reality and acting. She said, I had a crush for the first time on Little Forest. I don't think men and women can be friends. The actress was then asked to choose between Jang Ki Yong's on-screen characters, Young Nam Gil of Go Back Couple, and Che Da Jin of Come and Hug Me. She answered, Da Jin from Come and Hug Me is closer to my type. He's not talkative and lacks in expression. He's the type who speaks with actions rather than words. Come and Hug Me airs on Wednesdays and Thursdays at 10 p.m. KST. Check out the latest episode below. Watch now Source 1, Top Photo Credit, Exports News.